Hey you guys, I am Sandis, Ad Operations Manager at Setapad. In today's Setapad Explained series, I will talk about what header bidding is and how it works. But before we get started, subscribe to our channel and if you are on YouTube, click the alert notification so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. So, what is header bidding? Header bidding, sometimes called pre-bidding, is a programmatic technology where the publisher offers his ad inventory to many demand partners, like Google, all at the same time. It's a real-time auction where the highest bidder wins, and this allows publishers to increase their ad revenue to the maximum. Currently, header bidding is an industry standard for displaying programmatic ads. But it wasn't five years ago. There was another technology, Waterfall. So, what are the differences between these two technologies and why Waterfall is not a viable solution today? Waterfall is the technique for publishers to sell their remnant ad inventory. It means that the publisher sells ad impressions that he couldn't sell through direct campaigns or private marketplace deals. With the Waterfall technique, publishers receive a lower yield because demand partners bid on ad impressions in a sequence instead of real-time as it is in header bidding. And once the ad impressions are passed on to the next demand partner, known as passback, the CPM floor price decreases. This, however, prevents high-paying advertisers from bidding more and ultimately decreases publishers' revenue. How does the header bidding work? A header bidding technology sits on top of a header bidding wrapper, which is a JavaScript tag responsible for making ad calls to demand partners, evaluating bids, communicating with the ad server. Now, let's see how a header bidding wrapper works. Firstly, publishers need to paste the header bidding code in the header of the page. Then, as soon as the user visits the site, the wrapper makes an ad call to all demand partners. Now it's time for demand partners to submit their bids. There is usually a time frame or a timeout in which bidders must respond to prevent page latency. Then the wrapper sends the bids to the publisher's ad server, for example, Google Ad Manager. And finally, the highest bidder wins the real-time auction and his ad creative gets displayed on the publisher's page. If you found this video helpful, like it, share, tell people about it. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment. We are here to help you. Bye and see you next time.